Hello, my name is Kent Pagassian and I'm a fourth year physics and instrumentation student at Gawa Mayo Institute of Technology. My final year project was the design and construction of a 3D imaging system using a commercially available LiDAR, where this project was completed over six weeks. The main component of the system is a lighter light V3 produced by Garmin. It emits infrared laser pulses, reflects off an object, and returns to the emitter. By measuring the time between the beam is emitted and detected, and knowing the speed of light, the distance to the object can then be determined. An Arduino is used to both power the LiDAR and calculate the distance the beam has traveled before hitting the object. A red laser pointer is used to give a visual indication of where the LiDAR is pointing. A National Instruments USB DAC then reads the distances from the Arduino via Visa Read, and this is done using LabVIEW. To create a 3D image, two stepper motors are used to move the ladder in both the horizontal and vertical direction. Each step of the stepper motor moves in steps of 1.8 degrees. As you can see, the system is currently measuring in the horizontal plane. Each time the motor stops, the angle and the distance are saved to 5. Once measurements are made for all the angles in the horizontal plane, the vertical angle will be changed and the process will continue until the scan is finished. The motors and data acquisitions are also controlled with LabVIEW. The instrument is controlled by this LabVIEW front panel. The user can also select specific angles to be scanned. This means not just all possible angles every time the system is used, reducing scan time. At each position, both angles and the distances are recorded in an Excel file, which can then be exported for data processing and image reconstruction. On the left side of the program, we can see that the, it allows the user to control both the horizontal and vertical rotation. The top left side of the program shows the live distance recorded at that moment alongside with its angular position. The top section of the program simply shows the controls for both the Arduino and the DAG connection, while the right side of the program shows the full and complete dataset with all the distances with their corresponding angular positions. The data obtained from the instrument are in distance, theta, and phi, or spherical coordinates. For the data processing and image reconstruction in this project, the data was converted into XYZ or Cartesian coordinates and plotted in MATLAB. These are some of the scans that are performed with the instrument. Here, the outside view of the GMIT library was scanned and we can see that the windows of the building can be identified. For this second scan, we can see that the instrument was used to scan a person.